I'm out in the middle of nowhere in the middle of Clinton County. Uh, well, no, not really middle. I mean, down in the lower section of it. Uh, out here in Sugar Valley, down by, you probably can tell what I'm filming. The old covered bridge, which probably is the only one that's uh, locally, I would say, can be used. There's some private ones around here nobody can allow to use except people who who lives near there. But over or I'm out here uh, filming it. The I'm gonna say around circa 1830 is when this this uh, covered bridge was built. I'm just I'm just uh, guessing around that time. And it was refurbished a little bit a while ago. I figured I'd take you a walk through the walk through and show you show you how well, some of this stuff is built I mean I, they, it was refurbished because you can see some of the stuff wasn't wasn't that technology back then uh, it was built uh, Bob and Trish Kane I mean I don't know your cover bridge society so, oh there's a lot of those people put stuff out here um, Oh, uh, Big Bridge Society, Historical Bridge Society. Uh, oh, 10, 1, 2, all right. Oh, I said 1830. It's 1847 when it was built. The car, right here is the, uh, oops, sorry about my hand. Right there is the histi historical Curry Bridge 1874, although some evidence suggests it was built in early 1847. The builder is unknown. It is is the only covered bridge in Clinton County. Well, if you, I would say maybe there's there's maybe one that somebody built a little later on. I mean, it's it's a private road, so. Uh, over the years, routine maintenance was required. Hemlock siding was replaced and repainted. I'm um, that. I don't know why I keep putting my over here at Logan Mills. I'll put the other section here. Leave your. All right. Uh, I'm just showing you the what it looks like on the inside. I know I took pictures of it before, um, but I didn't show you what it looked like on the inside. Make it look. Make it looks nice. Oh, I don't know why they. Why do they put wheat there? <laughs> Maybe somebody would would give me that suggestion of why they have that there. Maybe for the animals that keep from chewing on stuff. I don't know. They instead, they eat, eat the wheat instead. Uh, this is not the only place I'm going to film. It's, I'm going to make it a little bit longer film for you guys. I'm going to try it. It's a beautiful day, on, in, especially for early January. 2019 first first video of the year for me I'm get, gonna give you the look of this side of it and I'm gonna go on the other side give you a good nice look on that side too oh and then there has to be somebody be, oh no I thought it was somebody it's geese Got to get to watch some geese fly over. Some Canadian geese fly away home. All right, here's another place I'm gonna film. The old mill that was over here. And I'm, there's a, there's right here something to go do with the mill. Oh, grinding stone maybe, but nah, it might be just a pole holder. <laughs> just joking around with you guys. Uh, This whole big building here. You know, it all says on the building what it, what it was. It's an old feed mill. See, practical feeds, D and G for practical feeders, and uh, it's an old feed mill. Yeah, but I'm gonna get a good view of it for you. Try to keep my fingers out of the way. Oh, sounds like somebody's shooting somebody. Or maybe the wind locking stuff down. 
is a little windy. There's a place right up there that's pretty old too, but I don't know what that was. And when you guys can give me a suggestion about that. A little, I guess that's the old outhouse for that place. Or maybe a storage shed. And behind here, there's something that's a little interesting to look at. So that's the reason why I'm coming over here. old kind of old way of making <laughs> seats a little broke that's the only thing I can this is where they used to take the logs in I guess that's windy, so I'm gonna get out of here and I'm gonna say you guys have a nice day